Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click. Thank you for watching the next video in the Do More with Click Tips and Tricks Edition series. In the last video, I covered our anyone role or permission. In this video, I'm going to cover the from field argument, which is available within the load statement. And this is going to help us parse a field that contains a JSON-like structure that we can break up into its own table. Before we continue, please be sure to visit the Click Learning Portal at learning.click.com for all your personalized and structured learning needs of what Click has to offer. Here you can select from both free and subscription-based content, instructor-led training, skills assessments, and robust video tutorials. Check out the video tour on the main page to get started. So allow me to demonstrate. In this instance here, I actually have data landed from Talon Stitch from a Shopify e-commerce platform. And when it landed the data into Azure, into Microsoft SQL, as you see here, the default address for my customer data is actually in the form of a JSON format. So the province, the country, the city, the state, the customer ID, the name, all that important information that I need for analytics is actually in a field called default address. And I need to be able to parse this so I can use this for my analytics. So let me show you how I can break up that field and put it into its own address dimension table, if you will. So to do that, I'm going to go into my ClickSense environment. I'm going to go to the data load editor. I'm going to access the data from Microsoft Azure SQL. I'll choose my schema. I'm going to choose my customer's table. And to make things simple, I'm just going to filter where email is equal to John Doe click at outlook.com just to retrieve one record of information. And then from the fields list, we're going to grab the default address as well as other important information we're going to need, such as the ID for the customer that we're going to link this table to, which we're going to call customer underscore ID and maybe just some metrics such as total spent or order count. And that's all we need from this list here. Perhaps maybe we could even grab the email address and then insert the script. If I load this by default, all this is going to do is access the SQL server, load the data in memory. And then when I create my sheet, so we'll take the straight table from the visualization bundle and if I just add a column for default address, you can see that we have that JSON structure. Now this is not going to do me any good for my analytics. So let's just delete this. Now let's go back to the data load editor. Okay. So let's now paste in the secret code. That's going to help us do this. And that's going to be the from field function which works with the load statement. So we're going to use a new directive here called address, which is just going to label the table. And we're going to load all of the fields that we want from the customer data. In this case here, you can see customer data. It's actually called customers. So we're just going to change that to customers. And then you can see the default address, which is the field that we're loading from the main table. So it's taking that field from the existing data that's been loaded and it's going to load it into a new table. And that's all we need to do. Now, remember, customer ID is the name of the field that we gave it from the load. That's actually going to now link up to the customer ID field within the JSON structures. So when we run this, we're going to have a ID field linked with customer ID. And we'll be able to create a dimension table. So now it's been loaded. Let's go into our data model viewer. And now you can see the address customer ID, and then the raw data or the data that's just coming from customers has been loaded. Let's go to our sheet. Let's add our columns. And now if I select from tables, I actually have my address table. And now I can choose the customer ID, first name, last name, phone number, country name, company, city, 
and address one and address two. And there we go. Now, if I wanted to grab another field from the other data, such as the customer information, such as orders count, add as a measure, some order count, and even grab the email address and add the email. I could even position that up front. And there it is. So now we have that important information in our data structure that we can use from analytics parsed directly from that default address field that came from our query. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below, and I hope to see you on the next video.